Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about thin pad options and heavier pad options. And I will um, talk about liners and everyday pads that I would wear normally. So let's talk about pads first. Um, three of the thinnest pads I have is Party in My Pants. And it's the thinnest pad I have as far as liners. Then I have the Glad Rag, and it's almost as thin as Party in My Pants, but it has a little bit of absorbency, which I like. And then I have my I Love Lucy from an Etsy seller which is almost just as thin as those but it has light absorbency okay and the thicker pads that I have are pink lemonade this is a minky top so it is very thick for a liner and then I have the Bambi Velour which is just slightly thinner because of the fabric but still pretty thick. I definitely never would have a leak issue with these pink um, lemonade and they are short enough, these are 8 inches, and they're short enough that you're not going to be able to see them so it really doesn't matter how thick they are unless you're just not comfortable with that. These absorb great. Um, I've poured half a bottle of water onto these if not it was, I think, at least a half, and left it for um, six hours, and it still didn't leak through. So those, in my opinion, are my go-to if I'm really expecting, like, something bad and I need heavy liners. So I think there's definitely a place for heavy liners. But I also like having thinner liners. Um, this one that is relatively thin but not you know thin enough it's gonna like crumple up um, I like it pretty much for everyday use and it's cotton so it's kind of gonna be one of my uh, more summertime liners and party in my pants um, it's not my favorite anymore just because I have had so many like sliding around issues um, I do like it because it's so thin and everything and I keep it in my purse for on the go. And the same with this. This I like a lot more because it is plain on both sides and it does not slide around. This is prob probably my new favorite liner because it is so thin. It has absorbency and I haven't had any like problems with it. So definitely this is an everyday like this would be a reach, um, a pad I would reach for often. If I do carry it on my, in my purse, because I really like it for on the go. So overall, I think it just depends um, what kind of day you think you're going to have, and if you wear liners every day, or if you just wear them for spotting and such. I mean, you just kind of have to know um, what your body's going to do, or take a couple different kinds with you. When you go out, that's what I like to do. I like to have one pink lemonade bamboo velour liner and I like to have my party in my pants liner and my glad rag liner okay so let's talk about pads the thinnest everyday pad would be my Etsy pad which is like a moderate flow I believe um, it's very light for an everyday pad So for me, I'd wear these on, I'd probably wear these on very light days. Um, most of my days um, are pretty light, but I would probably wear these like spotting towards the um, end of my cycle. The next thinnest pad is this no brand pad and it's, it's relatively thin. And it absorbs amazing. I would use this for anything. Um, it's just long enough that I can use it for overnight if I need to. Um, I like it on the go because it folds up really well. And 
it's a good daytime pad. I normally just use them as daytime pads and I keep one in my purse just for whenever because um, the material it is just absorbs and wicks moisture away from your skin really, really well. Um, and this pad, this pad is great because it is really thick in the middle, but with the way it's sewn together, where this is just the windproof fleece, it is very thin along the edging. So you kind of get the best of both with this. And this is a cozy folk. So you kind of get the best of both with this. The only thing about this is that it doesn't fold well. So sometimes with traveling, if you really like to fold and snap them up, this one is going to be a little bit harder. For me, it's not that big of a deal. I just fold like this and then go. The next thinnest pad would have to be a cotton um, pink lemonade. And it is, it's pretty thick because of the way the wind pro fleece is sewn on there. But it's still not too bad. And then my thickest everyday pad is a minky pink lemonade. And they're still not that thick. They're not that bad. And besides, I like minky thick pads. Um, they are comfortable. Now this is a 9 inch. And I can wear this out no problem seeing through my clothes or anything. Of course, I'm um, a little bit on the plus size, so if you are smaller, um, you may see just the edge a little bit depending on what you are wearing. Now, I can't wear a pink lemonade pad any bigger than this 9 inch, or you can see um, through my pants. You can, you can kind of just see the outline. So, um, I definitely, for going out, um, I would use this pad. I would use something that is not too light, but is light enough to feel secure and that it's not going to be seen through my clothing. And at home, I want like the thickest, coziest pad I can get. Now, on hot days, I'm definitely not going to really want to wear minky out because it does get a little hot. And I feel just a little sweaty and I feel like um, it doesn't really wick the moisture away. So if I'm going to get really sweaty, um, I would wear this because they uh, it wicks really well. And this, um, if I'm wanting to wear minky out and it is hotter, it breathes a little bit better because the whole thing isn't covered in minky. So um, Cozy Folk is probably going to be um, one of my new favorites. Um, they definitely have a great product. I may need to purchase more in the future. Uh, so definitely I definitely feel secure with um, the three brands I feel most secure is with the snow name cozy folk and pink lemonade um, one one very heavy days and the brand of liner that I feel most secure with on like say I had work for some reason and needed very good absorbency would be pink lemonade but my favorite liner to wear is definitely Glad Rag. And my favorite pad to wear is definitely um, 10 inch Cozy Folk. So, um, this video was brought to you by the Rump Girls group on Facebook. If you're looking for a great um, cloth pad group on Facebook, I will link their group below. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I make cloth diapering videos and pad videos. If you haven't already subscribed and you're interested in those kind of things, go ahead and do that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.